Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video I'm going to be analysing Victor Font's presidential project to lead Barcelona into the future. It's titled Si al Futur and we're going to be getting behind this project today, giving you guys all the background information about the Barcelona elections in 2021 in an English language for some of you guys who are English followers of Barcelona and you want to know a little bit more about Victor Font, his project, what's going on with the Barcelona elections and what we can expect for the future under Font's new project. I'm going to be trying to detail every single thing. I've tried to do a lot of research behind this, so I've tried to, you know, digest as much as I can, and it's so that it's easy for you guys to take in, to get behind, and then we can all go towards the Barca for the future. That's what this video is going to be all about, guys. So please sit back, relax, take notes. Let's get started with Victor Fonts. See you Futur. So I think a good place to start would actually be to give some background information on what the current situation is with these Barcelona elections. So basically Barcelona are set for elections in the summer of 2021, so just over a year from now, you know, a year, two or three months or so. That's, you know, rumoured to be the sort of time anyway. Um, and that's basically going to see President Bartomeu be replaced for the upcoming six years at least um, for Barcelona. So. What we actually have actually at Barcelona, which is really, really cool, is that, you know, they label it Mescal Club, and that's because the members or the socios can actually vote for the next president. So if you're a member of the club, if you've been a member of Barcelona for over a year as a fan, you can vote for who you want as the next president to lead on the club for the future. So that is really, really cool for me. I find that really, really sick. So I think that if we can all get behind this as fans, then we can all obviously have a brilliant Barcelona for the future. And what I also want to say, guys, is to, in terms of candidates, as of now, Victor Font is the only actual official candidate. I'm sure a couple of others will join, you know, maybe John Laporta will come in the future. But Font is the longest project. He's been working on this since 2015. And we really want to, you know, highlight in today's video why I think he should be the next Barcelona president and what he can offer us. But yeah, as of now, guys, in terms of candidates, Font, I wouldn't say he's looking the most likely, but, you know, I think that... He's definitely the most appropriate to take over to lead Barcelona into this next generation without the golden generation of players, if you will. Um, and I think that Font is someone for us all to get behind. And a real positive of Font being the only candidate right now, it basically means that he has a really, really good chance of becoming president because, say, you know, someone like Laporta launches a campaign late now, it won't be as organised, it won't really have as much support. And yes, there could be, you know, old fans who will really get behind Laporta because of his previous time at the club. I think Font's stable campaign, his knowledge of the club, Club, his clear vision and ideas are what is going to be able to lead him to a victory in the upcoming elections. And I'm going to basically get into a little bit more about now his project, because we've gone over the background information about the elections, how they're taking place, what's going to be happening, and how can actually vote, and how people can vote. Let's get into this juicy part of this video, guys. And before we go any further, I also want to point out that I'm going to be leaving Victor Font's socials in the description down below if you want to go check him out on Instagram, Twitter, and also his Seattle Tour pages on both of those sites. He's also got um, his own website, of course, the Seattle Tour website, which you guys can actually become a member of. You can get behind. And that's got, you know, a lot of the information where I've got for this video. All of it, really, is on that website. I've just tried to translate it, you know, into English as as best as I can and that will obviously give you guys you know a nice digestible format to be basically be able to get behind the project if you're an English speaker if you want to know more about this project I want to make this video in video format for you guys but go onto the website guys that'll have all the information and even more detail for you guys but I'm excited to get into this video, guys, to basically point out why Font should be the next president of Barcelona. So let's just start, guys, with a little quote from Font himself that you would actually be able to see once you go onto the website. And it says, let's build the Barca of the future together. So let's get into this quote, guys. He says, during the next decade, Barca will have to manage the replacement of the best generation of players in its history and tackle the challenge of economic competition with clubs owned by tycoons and states, while technology continues to transform the world we live in. If we want to continue winning and keeping the ownership in the hands of the members, a project led by talented people who have traditionally not been interested in the club's management is required. So Font there, he states out what needs to happen, what the challenges we are going to face, you know, in the next couple of years and also in the next 10 years, guys. We want to build a Barca for the future here and that's really what Font wants to get behind. And the programme of Ciudad Fortuna is really to help build the next generation of FC Barcelona up till 2030 with Messi and plenty of this golden generation of players. They're going to be on the way out very, very soon, guys. In order to compete, Font believes that the club must be renewed not just in its economic and sporting values but also in its social ones and that will, of course, help us face all the appropriate challenges that are going to be able to be cropping up in the next couple of years and well really with Font's project we can obviously go ahead and tackle those together and I find this really interesting Font says on his website let's win 
So he also points out here that the Seattle Futura project are convinced that success of Barcelona can only come from La Masia. He's going to be defending the values of Johan Cruyff, guys, and he is going to be instilling exactly what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for trust in La Masia. Font will bring this, guys. He will do the appropriate transfers and make sure that the squad is in its tip-top condition from a sporting point of view so that we can indeed compete on the football pitch and in the best way possible for FC Barcelona. Font also states out here that we need to compete. He says that if we do want to compete at this level and keep thinking that the club's ownership can actually be in the hands of the members, we need to rethink the revenue model. And I actually completely agree with this when I was reading this. He says that the club's economic potential right now is massively limited as opposed to what it should be. And in, re and in recent years, personally for me guys, I find this really interesting. I've kind of agreed with that. I think we've been really incapable in the transfer market. I think we're, you know, in a really weird financial state right now, which, you know, we shouldn't be as FC Barcelona. And I think Font's going to come in and he's going to ensure that we can take all the effective and simple measures needed to get back to where we need to be financially. Because I think right now, the amount of cash we've got, it just isn't in the correct order and you know he also believes that there are simple simple ways of restoring this cash in the club guys one of those ways he's actually stated on his website was basically just to increase revenue by all means possible and he says by selling Barca products to millions of the fans worldwide how much revenue that brings into the club is honestly something not to be looked over Font also goes to state that he thinks that Barcelona, in order to be successful in the next 10 years, need a completely new board. And I would completely agree. He thinks that we need a new board who are actually, you know, able and will be able to fulfill their entire potential in each area that they're working on. We need, we need board members who are not just put in because of little ties and friendships. We need board members who are ready to take the club to the next level and essentially are excellent in the roles that they will indeed be instilled in. Victor Font, Sierra Fortuna has also gained a lot of support from the likes of Carlos Puyol, Xavi, of course, our, our midfielder, who you know we never know could be coming back as a coach under Victor Font in the future. Also, Oscar Garcia, Victor Valdez, Jean Villa, and Albert Benaiga. So, this is you know a project that a lot of the Barcelona players, past and present, have been getting behind, and I think that's really, really positive too, guys. You know, this isn't just something that I want to get behind. I think it's something that we all need to get behind, and that many also have done in the past. Font also states here, let's decide, and this kind of leads on to a point I was just talking about, and that's actually he wants to redefine the club's governance model. So he wants members' role to be increased in decision-making. He also wants the correct board members to be in the correct positions. I find this really, really key. We need players, or not players, sorry, we need board members in the appropriate positions in order to tackle each decision to ensure we are not making absurd board decisions that we have been seeing under the reign of President Bartomeu. We really want to also increase the role of members and Font massively points out the electronic voting system in order to decide new presidents and also other polls that will be going on internally in the club. Font also wants Barca to gain that uniqueness back. In recent years, we've just been acting like we're nothing like Barcelona, in my opinion, with the way we sign players, with the way we deal with internal, you know, dealerships within the club. And I think that Font here is ready to face the biggest challenge of this generation in a new way. He wants to go back to those values implemented by Johan Cruyff and Joan Gamper, of course. He wants to go back to the Barcelona we know and love with La Masia. And he wants Barcelona to be Mescon Club again, which is definitely what we've been missing in recent Recent years. Font also points out on this website here one final paragraph and I just want to say that almost to tie up this video. He says, we face an unavoidable challenge, not an easy one, yet clearly an exciting one. We make ourselves available to all those Barca members who can contribute to face the challenge with the best guarantees of success. We must build the Barca of the future together. We're waiting for you. And I just want to tie up this video, guys, to make it as easy to understand for all of you guys. I'm sorry if that wasn't as easy to understand as it could have been, but let's go from the top and just kind of briefly go through it. Font wants a clear program at Barcelona all around La Masia on a sporting site level. So we want players who are ready to play for Barcelona and who are obviously well made for that coming up from the youth ranks from a young age. That's where the most success has actually come from Barcelona in the past. You look at Busquets, Messi, Puyol, Xavi, Iniesta. All these players are from La Masia, guys, and all of them are the best in our history. So this is what Font wants, guys. He wants us to go back to our La Masia roots. He wants us to be competitive on the field, but by doing it in the right way. Font also wants to go in and deal with the silly, silly financial situation that we find ourselves in right now, which clearly we're having massive in, uh, issues in, not just economically, but also socially, I think, at the club right now. And also, you look at some of the things we're getting up to, some of the internal matters at the club that come out in press releases, and I think that with Font at, at the realm, 
these sorts of things will not be happening anymore. The club will be much better run and it will be in a much better um, shape and a much better board to go ahead and run the future. And I also want to leave on one more final thing, and that's Font's idea to bring in loads of new board members who are appropriate to the roles that they will indeed be installed in. So that means that we're not going to have people who are in inappropriate positions to make massive decisions, which I think over the recent years we've seen a board members all come together, make horrific decisions, which have really, really negatively impacted our club in the last five years or so, I would say so. So I think Font's idea to bring in the correct board members in the correct positions to do the correct jobs is absolutely vital. So there you have it, guys. That is Victor Font Seattle Tour in its simplest form, guys. Like I said, the, the link to his socials, to the website, will be in the description down below. And I just wanted you guys to understand this. I wanted to make a video on it in the best form I could, guys, going through the club's project. Um, for the future under Victor Font if he does manage to become um, Barcelona president. You know, we don't know if he will yet, of course, but I wanted to make this video. I wanted to talk about it and analyze his project a little bit and try and get behind it for you guys. And I hope that I can inform as many as I can, even if it's just five more people who know about the project and now want to get behind it, then great. If we all make the, you know, the effort together, then who knows what can happen for the future of this club. I think we've all been begging for change. And I think Font, guys, is the one that we've really been looking for to make this change. So yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it was digestible enough and that, you know, I wasn't too confusing in all of the ways. I tried to go back over all the points and in its simplest form at the end, I've tried to give a background information on how the elections work in the summer of 2021. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. That's where I'm going to end this video. Please drop a like if you have enjoyed it. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on Victor Font's project on anything Barcelona, guys. Comment it. I'll reply to every comment. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing all of you guys there. And I'll be back again in about a week's time for a new video too. But until then, guys, see you on Full Tour with Victor Font. Let's hope for the Barca for the future and enjoy yourselves. Goodbye.